Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use GeoGebra to um, kind of visualize a solid of revolution. Um, so if you see, I'm at beta.geogebra.org. Um, the beta version is usually kind of the most cutting edge. Um, and also I find it works better for what I'm about to do. So uh, I'm going to click on 3D graphing calculator and it's going to launch this. Okay, so there's a couple things I see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, I'm going to right click, whoops, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to hide this plane because um, it doesn't really help with what we're doing. So uh, the way this is, the, uh, the red axis here is the positive x axis, the green is the positive y and the blue is the positive z. So if I turn this, uh, there, it's kind of like you're looking down on the x, y plane here. So positive x, positive y, and then z is coming right at you. So that's not super important for what we're doing. Um, but it's good to get oriented. So we have this. All right, so to do this, I'm gonna set up a few things first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, uh, so I type T and I actually do wanna create a slider. So T is gonna be um, the angle that I'm rotating through. So I actually want to, I'm gonna click here on these dots and I wanna go to settings and I'm gonna click slider and I want the minimum here to be zero and I want the maximum to be too high. And then, so that's what I want it to be set up as. So I'm gonna close that out. And then I can see that I can drag this from zero all the way up to too high. So that's good. I'm also going to um, create two more sliders. So one is just gonna be for uh, A, and then another is gonna be for B. Um, and that's, uh, those are gonna be the bounds over which we're looking at this solid of revolution. So A is gonna be the left bound and then B is gonna be the right bound. And now what I need is a curve. So uh, I'm gonna call it F of X, set it equal to, uh, let's go with, uh, trig functions usually look kind of the neatest when you do this. So I'm gonna make it uh, sine of two X. And then uh, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna do plus to just kind of get it off of the x-axis so it looks a little more interesting. Okay, so now if I click and drag and orient this, you can see this looks just like um, sine of 2x plus 2. And we want to rotate this around the x-axis. So we're going to rotate around the x-axis. So here's what we're going to do. So this is where uh, you might not be super familiar with the math. Uh, you also might be familiar with the math. That would be good. Um, but it's okay if you're not, because you can set this up without really knowing what's going on. So we're going to create a surface. So I'm going to type surface. And you see it gives you all these template options. I have a lot of trouble moving through the templates, so I'm going to basically ignore that they're there. But you can see that surface, this is the one we want to use. Um, it's going to be expression, expression, expression. So this is X, Y, and Z. And then the first parameter, so our first parameter... Um, is gonna be what X can vary between, um, and then the start value and stop value. So that's actually gonna be A and B here for the start value and end value. And then the second parameter is gonna be the angle that we're rotating by. So um, I'm gonna use a dummy variable and that's gonna start from zero and end at whatever T currently is. So that's what I'm actually doing, but I'm not going to use the template. So first thing I need is I need to pick something that I'm gonna use uh, to represent the X coordinate. So I'm gonna call it uh, uh, V. And then uh, here's where the math kind of comes in. So I'm essentially, uh, if you uh, think that, well, maybe you did this in a pre-calculus class, I'm creating kind of a, a 3D surface and um, I'm kind of basing it on a circle. So I'm really creating, like I'm moving in a circle in the Y and Z plane, like the Y, Z plane. And then the radius of that circle is always just gonna be whatever the function is. So it's gonna be F of V, which is sort of the radius. And then if you think of parametric equations for a circle, it's gonna be, r times cosine and r times sine. So it's gonna be f of v times cosine of, uh, I need a dummy variable, I'm just gonna use u. And f of v sine of u. And now I need to tell it the two parameters that I'm using. So the first one's gonna be v, and I'm gonna let that go from a to b. And then the second one is gonna be u, and that's going to go from zero to whatever the current value of t is. And I'll press enter. And so what is going on is that we're not seeing anything because it didn't work. Oh no, it did, it did work. It, it didn't work because 
A and B were the same. Um, okay, so disaster averted. Here we go. Uh, let me try. I don't have a lot of luck with making this thing different sizes. So you gotta click somewhere so you're not there, and then grab that and drag it. Okay, here we go. So this is our curve, and we're rotating it around the x-axis. And if I change the value of A, I see more of it. If I change the value of B, I'll see more of it. And then the value of T is how much I'm seeing of it. So now this would be nice if we were looking in more dim dimensions. So here, we're just seeing um, a little bit of it. But this gives you a good sense of what the shape will look like, um, which is really nice. If we go all the way around, it'll close it off. Let me get this. So this is all set up. You can change A and B um, however you want. You definitely want A to be less than B. Um, we can change the angle, the amount of angle that we're seeing. Uh, we can also change the function if we really want to. Um, I don't know. I didn't play around to find any interesting graphs. Um, but whatever you change it to, it'll update. So this one's kind of interesting because the curve itself in the xy plane is hitting the x-axis. So you get these cut off little orb type things. Um, but anyway, that's it. Uh, it's kind of fun to play around with. So uh, you might want to give it a shot, see if you can set it up. I uh, hope you found this helpful, and good luck.